This morning, Minister of Power and Energy Kanchana Vijayasekara tweeted updates to fuel stocks available with the Ceylon Petroleum Corporation and the Ceylon Petroleum Storage Terminals. He revealed that Sri Lanka has 18,825 metric tons of auto diesel and 42 metric tons of super diesel at present. In addition, 33,498 metric tons of 92 octane and 13,067 metric tons of 95 octane petrol are currently in hand. The minister, however, assured that there will be adequate fuel for the next three weeks in the country, with the arrival of more petrol and diesel shipments in the second and third weeks of June. He also said that the second Indian credit line of 500 million US dollars is expected to be received in the second week of June, and it will cover the bulk of the June fuel bill, which amounts to 540 million US dollars. Meanwhile, with international airlines at present being warned to carry extra fuel on flights to the island, fears over Sri Lanka's ability to refuel international airlines can have serious consequences for the tourism industry, a hit that the country can hardly afford right now. The minister's tweet, however, didn't help allay any fears, revealing an alarming fact that only 386 metric tons of jet fuel remains in stock. To put it into context, a single A320 Airbus is said to consume 2.5 tons of jet fuel per hour, meaning at best that it should be enough to only ensure 154 flying hours. According to Minister Vijay Sekara, the next jet fuel shipment is expected to arrive on the 11th of June. Another consignment of Jet T1 fuel, which is used by the aviation industry, which is amounting to 49 million USD, which will arrive, scheduled to arrive on the 11th of June, which we have to make the payments in the next couple of days. Meanwhile, yesterday, Minister Vijay Sekara tweeted that the CPC and the Power and Energy Ministry have received more than 70 proposals last month for the supply of petroleum products. He explained that all proposals are to be evaluated by a committee comprising government officials and letters of interest are to be issued once the requirements are fulfilled. However, despite most of the proposals fulfilling technical requirements, he explained that they had failed to fulfill the payment requirements expected by the CPC. In the meantime, operations at the Sapagaskanda oil refinery that were halted last Monday after a breakdown have recommenced from yesterday. The plant is expected to release about 1,000 metric tons of diesel daily. Further, on the gas situation, the state gas supplier Litro Gas Lanka Limited is expecting another 2,950 metric ton LPG shipment to arrive in Sri Lanka during the weekend. Until then, domestic cylinder distribution that began on Tuesday was carried out using gas from a shipment that arrived on Monday. An average of 50,000 cylinders were distributed daily from that shipment up to today. However, due to the limited number of gas stocks in hand, the company said that it will only distribute a total of 16,000 12.5, 5 and 2.3 kg cylinders tomorrow. Litrogas has also updated its daily list of fully stocked up LP gas dealers on its website www.litrogas.com.